Hey everyone, a lot of you will know we have a site full of team comps for TFT, but we also do these expert video guides to take it one step further. You can find all of our comps for set 5 on our website, and all the information like items, transitions, and positioning in the link down below. This comp focuses on Nightbringers and prioritizes Yasuo as the main carry rather than Aphelios. They can both be strong carries, but we focus on Yasuo to power spike faster and have a less contested late game. This is a slow level comp that revolves around Yasuo, a 3 cost unit. This means you have the option of slow rolling for Yas 3 at level 7. However, you can also choose to level up normally and try to 3 star him at level 8 instead of spending your gold at level 7. At level 8, you'll want to run Yasuo, Mordekaiser, Lee Sin, Diana, Lulu, Morgana, Pantheon, and Trundle. Your best chance to win with this comp is to find Yasuo 3 with correct items and 2 star the rest of your team. Having strong items on secondary carries like Morgana, Mordekaiser, or Lee Sin will help you push from 4th to 1st. Darius is a strong choice to add some armor shred to your team, but since Yasuo deals true damage with his ability, it's not extremely necessary. However, you can replace one of your units like Lulu if you find a Darius 2 and want the armor shred. You can also simply add Darius at level 9. With our hard set 8 unit build, finding room for spatula combos can be difficult. One option is particularly strong, but the others only come into play at level 9. Speaking of which, adding Draven at level 9 and using a Legionnaire emblem lets your team hit Legionnaire 4. You can put the emblem on a unit like Lee Sin. Assassin Emblem is also great on Lee Sin, since it lets him jump to the enemy backline and cripple them with his ability. It'll let his ability deal solid damage against important enemy carries when you position him well. Nightbringer Emblem is definitely the strongest choice. Drop it on Mordekaiser and replace Lee Sin with an extra unit. This can be a third mystic like Kindred or Lux, or a Heimerdinger for extra damage. If you have items for Lee Sin, you can choose to drop Lulu in favor of a 6 Nightbringer like Darius, or look to hit 6 Nightbringer at level 9. Moving on to shadow items, this comp uses them to power up our supporting units. First, we have Morello Evil Namakon and Fallen Guardian Angel. These two items make Morgana an amazing frontline unit. She'll almost always cast her ability and get the full channel off with a Guardian Angel. The Morello is also nice to help against tanky enemies, or for a nice healing debuff. Frozen Dark Heart on Diana makes her an extremely strong utility unit. Access to the backline keeps the debuff on enemy carries and away from your own. Moving on to our main carry, Yasuo has very specific item requirements. His two best items are Rapid Fire Cannon and Rude Ant Hurricane. RFC allows him to deal damage from a safer distance while also reducing the time spent moving around the board. Unfortunately, Shadow RFC isn't great as he's usually close to an enemy, meaning he won't get the bonus attack speed. Rune Ant's Hurricane is amazing because his attacks deal true damage after casting his ability. Spreading this on-hit effect to another unit greatly multiplies his damage. For the last item, we recommend increasing his damage with something like Jeweled Gauntlet, Hajj, or Shadow Hajj. Running 6 Nightbringer means we can skimp on defensive items. With RFC, Rudan's Hurricane, and Jeweled Gauntlet, Yasuo is going to tear through the enemy team. Since the comp runs 3 Skirmishers, you can itemize Lee Sin as a secondary carry. He'll do best with an Assassin Emblem, as this allows him backline access to cripple enemy carries. Once you've got that Assassin Emblem, Infinity Edge scales Lee Sin's damage very well. Defensive items like Bramble or Dragon's Claw can go on a unit like Darius or Mordekaiser. These two are your strongest front lines, so try to beef them up more with extra defensive items. Darius is important for shredding armor, while Mordekaiser can be a solid choice if you only have a Darius 1. Moving on to our stage breakdown, you'll start stage 2 like most other comps. Run any good units you find and look to either win streak or lose streak. Even if you aren't running Nightbringer units or Legionnaires, make sure to build your core items for Yasuo. Level up to 6 at 3-2 and build the strongest board you can with the units you find. You can roll down a bit if you want to be aggressive or stabilize, but you'll get more mileage if you can wait until at least level 7 to roll. You'll hit level 7 at 4-1. If you need to stabilize, you can roll deep in order to find and build a strong team. Here you have a choice to make. You can opt to slow roll for Yasuo 3 at level 7, or level normally and look for Yasuo 3 at level 8. Hitting Yas 3 at level 7 will be cheaper, but your team won't be as strong if you can't find all of the 4 and 5 cost units. If you're close to Yas 3, slow rolling can be a good choice to guarantee you hit. If you're very strong or very weak, you'll have more consistent results by hitting level 8 and looking for Yas 3 after. If you chose not to slow roll, you can level up to 8 at 5-1. Depending on how strong you are, you should either roll down to complete your team, or start building up your economy before rolling it all down. If you did slow roll at level 7, 
Simply level to 8 after you hit and roll down to complete your team. When positioning your team, keep Yasuo in the second row to not get hit by enemy units at the start of the fight. Morgana, Pantheon, Trundle, and Mordekaiser all act as your main front line. Diana should be placed in line with enemy carries to disrupt them. Lee Sin should also be used the same way if he has an assassin emblem. Without it, you can simply use him as bait for things like enemy assassins. Lastly, Lulu goes in the corner behind Yasuo to buff him up and act as a bait. Here's an example of a board that uses Hellions for the early game. You can use other things like Legionnaires or more Nightbringers, but this is an example of a strong board that can transition easily by putting your Yasuo items on Ziggs. That'll give you everything you need to know to win with our Hasagi comp. Remember, you can follow along with this guide in-game with our TFT overlay, so make sure you download that and bring it with you into your next game.